Step into the nostalgic realm of television history with Silver Spoons, a classic 1982 TV series that left an indelible mark on audiences. Before we dive into the series, ponder this. Out of the myriad characters that graced the show, which one resonated with you the most? Now, let's unravel some lesser-known facets of this beloved sitcom. Did you know that Alfonso Ribeiro, who later gained fame as Carlton Banks on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, made his acting debut in Silver Spoons? Intriguing, isn't it? Such tidbits add a layer of fascination to the show's legacy. As we embark on this trip down memory lane, we invite you to share your most cherished recollection or personal experience connected to Silver Spoons. Perhaps it's a heartwarming moment or a funny incident that etched the series into your memory. We're eager to hear your stories and memories, so don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below. Now, without further ado, let's reminisce about the show that brought joy to Manya Timeless Gem that continues to evoke smiles and laughter. Your journey into the world of Silver Spoons begins here. In its initial three seasons, the cast of the 1982 TV series rubbed shoulders with other child actors from various NBC shows. Ricky Schroeder, Alfonso Ribeiro, and their peers, including those from Different Strokes, The Facts of Life, Hello, Larry, Give Me a Break, Family Ties, Punky Brewster, and Valerie attended school together, creating a unique camaraderie among young talents of the era. One distinctive element of the show was the real steam engine train set running through the living room. In a 2015 interview, Ricky Schroeder disclosed that the train, though enjoyed by most, was actually big, heavy, and dangerous due to intense air pressure. Schroeder, who found the experience anxiety-inducing, revealed the contrasting sentiments within the cast regarding the perilous charm of the train. Interestingly, Harry Anderson declined the opportunity to play Edward Stratton, adding a layer of what could have been to the show's casting history. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes offer a glimpse into the interconnectedness of child actors during the show's early years, the unique set dynamics involving a real steam engine, and the choices that shaped the cast lineup. During breaks from shooting, Ricky Schroeder and fellow child actors, including those from different strokes, engaged in playful camaraderie on the NBC lot. Schroeder reminisced about Todd Bridges, who, in a somewhat unconventional game, chased him with a water pistol filled with Bridges' own urine. This off-screen interaction sheds light on the casual friendships that developed among young talents of that era. Meanwhile, the grand exterior shot of the Stratton Mansion in the show's opening credits is not a Hollywood creation, but Compton Winniates, a real Tudor-era English country house in Warwickshire, England. This unexpected connection to a genuine historical location adds a touch of authenticity to the show's visual appeal. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes offer glimpses into the lighthearted moments and unexpected links that shaped the atmosphere around the 1982 TV series, revealing the blend of playfulness and authenticity that define the off-screen dynamics. Silver Spoons, a TV series from the early 80s, holds a unique trivia nugget that connects it to another popular show of the time. The doorbell chime for the Stratton residence in Silver Spoons is the same as the one used for George and Louise's apartment in the Jeffersons. The interesting link arises from the fact that both shows shared producers and directors. Produced by Norman Lear's Embassy Television, Silver Spoons featured an unexpected connection to a familiar sound from the Jeffersons. This shared element adds a layer of behind-the-scenes intricacy, showcasing the collaborative efforts and crossovers within the TV industry during that era. Moreover, the show's cast, including Jason Bateman and Ricky Schroeder, had their share of off-screen adventures. One notable incident involved the young actors getting into trouble for fishing in the Jaws Lake on the Universal Studios backlot. According to Bateman, their escapades disrupted studio operations, prompting a note to their parents. This amusing anecdote offers a glimpse into the mischievous side of the young talents associated with Silver Spoons. As the series unfolded, it brought together elements that reached beyond its own narrative, creating unexpected connections and off-screen tales. From shared doorbell chimes to playful escapades on the Universal Studios' backlot, Silver Spoons left an indelible mark on TV history. In Silver Spoons, the intertwining of on-screen characters and real-life connections adds a fascinating layer to the show's history. Notably, Ricky Schroeder and Alfonso Ribeiro, portraying characters named Ricky and Alfonso, incorporated their actual first names into the series. This subtle nod to reality was unique, as guest star Joey Lawrence did the same in the episode The Best Christmas Ever. Such instances reflect a behind-the-scenes choice that brought authenticity to the on-screen personas. 
Beyond the scripted scenes, the camaraderie among the young cast members extended offset. Jason Bateman, reminiscing about his time on the show, shared anecdotes of bonding with Ricky Schroeder. Bateman described how he took Schroeder under his wing, especially considering Schroeder's recent move from New York City to California. The duo's escapades during taping breaks, including bike rides and mischievous antics, painted a picture of the typical preteen adventures shared by the cast. In a recent interview, Bateman also recalled an incident involving a yellow jacket hive. During their Silver Spoons days, he and Schroeder inadvertently drove over a hive, resulting in Schroeder getting stung. The memory, coupled with Bateman's reflection on having his own office on the same stage where Silver Spoons was filmed, showcases the enduring impact of shared experiences during the show. The behind-the-scenes dynamics of Silver Spoons weren't confined to the cast alone. Interesting connections to other TV shows, such as the shared doorbell chime with the Jeffersons, revealed the collaborative efforts within the industry during that era. Produced by Norman Lear's Embassy Television, Silver Spoons subtly intertwined with the broader television landscape, creating unexpected links that went beyond its own narrative. In summary, Silver Spoons, beyond its scripted charm, was a tapestry of genuine connections and shared moments among its cast. From on-screen characters mirroring real names to off-screen adventures with lifelong impacts, the series stands as a testament to the camaraderie and authenticity that defined its legacy. NBC initially envisioned Silver Spoons as a show for adults, drawing inspiration from the successful film Arthur. The original concept featured an adult character similar to Arthur, but the network shifted gears to showcase the young talent of Ricky Schroeder, who was under contract with NBC. This decision led to the creation of Edward Stratton Roman III, played by Schroeder, shaping the course of the series. One distinctive aspect of Silver Spoons was its living room filled with arcade games, contributing to the show's unique charm. During taping breaks, the cast and crew, including Jason Bateman, engaged in friendly competition, taking turns to play the games, and even placing wagers on who could achieve the high score. This off-screen camaraderie added a playful dimension to the behind-the-scenes dynamics. Interestingly, the character of Derek Taylor, portrayed by Jason Bateman, gained significant popularity, causing concerns among the producers that he might overshadow the show's star, Ricky Schroeder. Consequently, Derek Taylor was dropped after the second season. Following this, Jason Bateman went on to star in his own series, It's Your Move, before landing a role as Valerie Harper's eldest son in the NBC sitcom Valerie. The evolution of Silver Spoons from an adult-oriented concept to a showcase for child actor Ricky Schroeder, the lively arcade games on set, and the rise and fall of Derek Taylor highlight the series' dynamic journey. These behind-the-scenes elements offer a glimpse into the strategic decisions and collaborative efforts that shaped the show's legacy. As we bid adieu to the whimsical journey that is Silver Spoons, let the echoes of laughter and life lessons linger in the corridors of your memories. This timeless TV series isn't just a blast from the past. It's a cherished companion that has woven itself into the fabric of our recollections. As you traverse the corridors of nostalgia, I invite you to reflect on the unique connection you've forged with the characters, the storylines, and the unforgettable moments that unfolded on screen. Perhaps it's the infectious spirit of Ricky Stratton, the endearing escapades with his unconventional father, or the palpable warmth of the silver-plated ambience that has left an indelible mark on your heart. Now it's your turn to share the spotlight. What resonates with you the most? Is it the laughter that echoed through the Stratton mansion, the life lessons that transcended the small screen, or the undeniable charm that made Silver Spoons an enduring classic? Your thoughts are the missing pieces that complete this mosaic of collective reminiscence. Feel free to drop a comment below, sharing your fondest memories or reflections on this unforgettable journey. Let's transform this digital space into a communal haven of Silver Spoons enthusiasts. Each story a testament to the enduring magic of a show that transcends time. Thank you for indulging in this stroll down memory lane. Your presence and reflections enrich the tapestry of our shared experiences. Until our paths cross again, may the residents of Silver Spoons continue to sprinkle a touch of silver in your everyday moments.